Hello, everyone, and welcome to NJ Base Academy. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. I do appreciate you. And NJ Base Academy's mission is to make you a better bass guitarist. So if you're interested in lessons, stick around. All right. And uh, you might want to think about subscribing if you get some uh, value out of this video. Please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, it'll help me out very much. Okay, right here. I have a copy of my soon-to-be released bass book. Book one, Bass Patterns and Shapes. So hopefully that'll be coming out soon. So for this lesson, I'd like to take two patterns or shapes, however you want to look at them. I look at them as patterns, okay? So for each finger for a pattern, you have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this lesson will be about using two patterns to build a bass line over a familiar chord progression. So, first, we are going to find the first chord, and the first chord happens to be B. So, we look on our bass, and we go up the E string, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and B. Okay, so B, that's the first note. And I did that by using the chromatic scale, which is the most important scale that you'll ever learn, to be able to find out where all the notes are on your instrument. But we won't get into that. So for right now, you're at the seventh fret on the E string. Okay? And here we'll have our first pattern. One, four, three. So you go from your first finger, you go up one, two, three frets to your fourth finger. Then on the next string, your third finger. Okay, so that's the pattern. One, four, three. Okay. Now, we go to the next chord, which happens to be A which is at the fifth fret. And here we have our second pattern. Two, one, and four. And then we go to our third chord, which is G, E, F, F sharp, G. And we have the same pattern. Two, one, four. Okay, so at the seventh fret, one, four, three. Fifth fret, two, one, four. Third fret, two, one, four. Okay, now when we go back to the seventh fret, the B is a minor chord. Anytime you do this pattern, one, four, three, it's going to fit with a minor chord. Always. Okay, so let's go over that again. One, four, three is a minor chord. Then we go to the fifth fret, A. It's a major chord. So the pattern for a major is two, one, four. Then we go to G at the third fret, major chord, two, one, four. Okay, so there's only two patterns. One, four, three, and two, one, four. That's it. Okay. Now, since you know one, four, three, 
the next note right underneath that is the note that you started on, which happens to be A. Uh, B, I'm sorry. One, four, three. Then you go right underneath that and you go one, four, three. One, four, three. I'll move up a whole step. One, four, three. Major, two, one, four. Same thing. Right underneath your fourth finger is two, one, four. So two octave minor, one, four, three. One, four, three. Two, one, four. Two, one, four. Same thing on the third fret. Two, one, four. Right underneath it, two, one, four. Okay, now that's two octaves. So if you're a very, very beginner, just stick with one octave, okay? All right. So with that said, where do you start to build a bass line? Well, you're the bass player, so you're responsible for the root of the chord. Now, what is the root of the chord? The root of the chord is the first note of that chord, which is the name of the chord. So at the seventh fret, we're hitting B, and we know our pattern, one, four, three, is minor, so we're playing over a B minor chord. We go to A, two, one, four, which is major. So you know the A is the A major chord, and the G is the G major chord. Okay, now that seems like a lot of notes, right? You don't need all of those notes to make a good bass line and to make it feel good. All you need is one note, just the root note. That's all you need. Seventh fret, fifth fret, third fret. Then we're going to go back to the fifth fret and then seventh fret. Okay, so uh, let's see if we could check out just the chords. Okay, so you have seven, five, three, five. Seven, five, three, five, seven. Okay, now before you even get to that step, I want you to go, I want you to find the beat. And count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now when you can do that, steady. I want you to transfer that over to your foot. One, two, three, four. Tap, 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 tap. Now you can't see my foot, but I'm tapping it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, so now you can tap your foot. You're in time. Now we take the root notes. 7th fret, 5th fret, and 3rd fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you notice that the chords change every two beats. One, two, next chord. One, two, next chord. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. And you're going to count. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and you're just gonna hit on the one and the two, on the three. I'm sorry, 
One and two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, now once you can do that, now, how do you make it groove a little bit? Okay, well, let's listen to just the drums. Okay, so now if we listen to the bass drum, boom, 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 right? But the most important thing to listen to is the snare drum. Snare, snare. Two, four. One, two, three, four. The snare drum is on two and four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's your time. Okay, so wait for the snare drum before you go to the next note. Snare, snare. These are half notes because there are two beats each. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Take your time. Wait for the snare. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, very simple. Just the root, right? Okay, now let's bring in the rest of the track and see how that sounds. Notice I'm playing all long notes. Filling it in. Make it feel good. Okay, now that's just using the first note of each pattern. to the fret. Okay. So, as you can see, to make the music feel good, you really don't need anything but just the root note of the chord. B, A, G. It's just make it feel good. Lock into the timing. Listen for the snare drum. Don't rush and don't slow down. That's the most important thing. Okay, once you get past that step, now let's use another note from the pattern. So on the first chord we have one, four, three, right? So you notice we have the one, four, three here. And here we have two, one, four, and two, one, four. So we're just going to use the first and the third note. And that happens to be the same on each chord. Now, since it's just here and here, you can play one and four if you'd like which makes it easier on your hand than stretching your, th your fingers, you see? So it's the same pattern. Okay, so let's try that. Now, 
around. That sounds like an exercise, right? Now let's add a little bit of rhythm to this and let's not do it on every chord. Then you can make it sound something like this. So that's just two notes from each of the patterns. Now let's spice it up a little more rhythmically and we'll go on. Now, if we listen to the bass drum, there's two ways we could play, either with the bass drum or against the bass drum. In other words, play exactly what the bass drum is playing or play something counter to what the bass drum is playing. what the bass drums do. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Remember, listen for the snare. Back to just the root notes with the bass drum. With the second note. As you can see, we don't want to do it on every chord because then it gets like an exercise. Mix it up. Okay, that's playing with the bass drum. Now let's play something against the bass drum that's a little more rhythmic. Okay, so you get the idea. That's just using two of the notes. Okay, and that's called a fifth interval in case uh, you want to know. But it's just the third note of each chord. Okay. Now, as I stated in the beginning of the video, you can do these two octaves. So you have one, four, three. Then you move up a fret and you go one, four, three on the first one. On the second one, you go two, one, four. And right underneath your fourth finger, two, one, four. And the same thing for the G. Okay. So now let's just take those same two notes and mix up the octaves and see what we come up with. Okay, we're going to start out simple. And we're going to play fills on certain chords. Not every chord. You don't want to be too busy. So here we go. So using two octaves, right? So here we go, just the fifths. Here we go.
so on. Okay, so that's what you can do. Two octaves. Now, let's add the third note in the pattern. Whoa, now we're getting a little complicated. Now we got one, four, three, and two, one, four. Remember? Okay, so let's start out simple and let's add that. varying it. Maybe I'll play it on the first two chords. Maybe all of them. But vary it. Maybe do it only on the second chord. They had two octaves. lines. Mix them up. Okay, if you're getting some value out of this video, please hit the like button, the like and subscribe button. And once again, my new book will be coming out soon. And there you go. Book one, Bass, Patterns and Shapes. We just took two shapes out of this book to create this bass line, and I will only stay within those two shapes. I'll play a little bit more, and um, then I'll give you a track, and I'll give you a couple of minutes in case you guys want to work on this track, okay? All right, so if you're not a bass player and you don't want to work on this track, then, um, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. All right. So here we go. I'll play a little bit of this. And what I am going to also do um, for the more advanced students is I'm going to take these shapes and also play a bass solo. Okay, so I'll try not to make this too long. All right, so let's get first a bass line. patterns 
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget, you can support me over on Patreon, NJ Base Academy, for the price of one third of a half hour lesson at a music store. You could support me over on Patreon and get all kinds of bass lessons. As a matter of fact, I have over 100 bass lessons up there. Everything that is in my new book, I'm sorry I'm fiddling around here, but everything that's in this new book over here is all in video lessons, and you can use the book along with the videos. It's very, 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 very reasonable. Like I said, one-third the price of a half-hour lesson at a music store for the whole month. Reoccurring, you can cancel at any time. There's no obligation to stay with it. So please support me over at Patreon, NJ Base Academy. Okay, so I promised you guys I would give you a little bit of this loop here to play over. So here you go. And at the end, I'll bring in a little bit of a melody. Uh, so you have something to work on. Okay, here you go.
Okay, so I hope you got enough to work on there. And uh, don't forget, support NJ Base Academy at Patreon and look for my new book. You can also support my channel that way by purchasing the book. And that was only two patterns out of that book. And there's many, 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 many patterns in there. So I hope you enjoy that. And here we go. I'm going to go out with this whole sequence. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace, love, and music for all. music for